hero to cast. We got some fun heroes, so. Despite the game not mattering whatsoever, this is, of course, the last. I'm glad it came down to the last series, though. There's still some players in Techies uh -oh, that are really good at Snowball onto phone. number four, which is Kabul. Taking a lot of damage. The Ice Shards trap him in, and First Blood goes the way of Anti Mage. He's going to do a nice job of blocking Gall Black. He'll be Dealt fine. 100 damage to a guy with Ring of Hell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he got there fast. That's all that matters. Kabul, yeah. though. Going to take a Snowball. Jakiro jumps right in there. Ice Shards is going to come. It's not going to block him off, though. Dual Breath is going to slow him. TP support. Taneko's so going real deep. Nice fan score initiation, or counter initiation, I should say. They get the kill. This is a disastrous gank. They might get the kill on Cheshire Cat. And really, it all comes down to that frozen sigil. J4 somehow gets right clicked down by a crystal maiden. How embarrassing. And now Gallblack comes in. He's still a fucking cow. Man, with the lack of his ultimate, he scares them quite a bit. Dandy pops the haste. Looking for Shoshlo. Has the orb. Oh, he, I thought he got bashed there actually, but I guess he dodged it in the last second. But the haste will continue, <laughs> and Shoshlo does not is not able to dodge anything and will die to the right clicks. TA with haste is one of the scariest things you can meet in early game. Like, it just seems hopeless. No matter what you do, oh, he's gonna catch up hit hard. Can't kill her. Go black. Oh, He's there with the charge. J4 trying to get a constellation kill. It's not going to happen. Tusk on the way. He might get this kill, but he's going to put himself in a horrible position. He gets Frost, but doesn't even get the kill on the blue smurf that is Gallblack. And down he goes. I don't. I can't disagree with that. Forward, in fact, and Vance Corn Company good. are here to save the day. Frostbite on Seneca, who is Surge, but he can't really use it. There we go. Bear not going to do much. Gallblack gets a. Literally all five heroes are stuck in his charge. That was actually pretty damn good, not gonna lie. Basically useless after the fact though. Nice dream core to follow. Vanscore is gonna get initiated by Shoshlo. A couple more right clicks will finish him off. Two dead so far, including the cow, including Dendi. Funnick on the run. The snowball will keep him in place, so a great turnaround overall the for the PR as they should I would hope, what? be able to finish off Funnick. They cancelled like three or four Killing attack animations three. in the row. There we go. What's that? Interesting. What? What do you oh. mean? They still got him. They... But Hobos is just, he hasn't really been taking part in fights. He's just content with farming. What does he go for? Okay, he went for Blink. I love this. So now you want to get aggressive. Just Blink, ult somebody, take him out of the fight for 30 plus seconds. My bottom lane. Oh, DTR. We have a charge. It's going to hit Dirty Run. There's the worst ultimate in the game coming into effect. And down goes Anti Mage. Funnick on the run. Cinder agrees with me, don't worry. Yeah. This Frozen Sigil. Gives vision, it slows, it's pretty much an amazing ability. Fun and getting the shield yet again. Ishar's gonna stick in the place. Goblack as well. The space cow will fall to the ground. That's, that's two kills going away of PR. This level three sigil. This is the. Uh, in competitive. It takes a lot of practice, and I think. It's just extremely timing dependent. It's so oh, strong on paper, but so hard to pull. Juicy fight, yeah. Dendi getting quite low. He has the Aegis to work with, though, so he's not really afraid of dying. J4. Oh, boy. He's dead. So two dead in that engagement, Navi up. Cow comes in. I'm helping. Takes the kill. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the... Fuck! He's trying to get out of there. He's charging Rip away with all his might. Users. I apologize. Dyer's top tower that was under bad, attack. Wasn't. Yeah, he will so self-conscious. Dendi, he's gonna be Dendi. found. Iron Shell doing a nice job of taking off that refract. He's gonna get destroyed, but of course the Aegis will pop him right back up on his feet. J4 gets an ice path off, gets Frostbit for his efforts. Of course, Hobos doesn't have his ultimate to work with. They're just gonna have to go with the right clicks onto the Jakiro. Josh looks stuck on a cliff up here. Charge bottom, but also fun getting caught out. It, but... He's just gonna turn on Joshlo, and he's dealing so much damage. This is disgusting. He gets taken out with ease. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Goblack. He's gonna watch the enemy get melted to Dendi. Absolutely ridiculous how much damage is being done. I think I've seen him not doing it, but that's like a special, Cut. special poor situation. bear. This poor bear will finally drop to the deck. Dendi gets a two for one. Oh my god. Dirty Rock gets taken down at half HP. Cheshire Cat across it. Nice ice pass keeping Dendi in place, but of course he has the BKB and the Aegis to work with. This is going to be an easy team wipe for Navi there. He's cleaning up left, right, and center. Shakiro trying to do as much. To okay, they just call it GG. I don't blame him. This just got out of hand way too quick. Navi takes the series 2-0. And they go on to fourth place, which means they will be in the playoffs.
I think you could tell in that game that PR kind of lost some steam. I think they knew that the first game was the important one. They played way better in it. Uh, they looked more coordinated, more focused. In this game, they were a little more all over the place. They didn't seem to. They didn't seem as hungry for the win, and it just turned out into a, a very skirmishy game.